So, to Ahmad, congratulations on the 8th Nightwish album. Thank you. Um, would you go for imagination or evolution? This you, time. No. Um, are you more uh, a person uh, who goes for the scientific explanation or more about there should be a place for mystery too? Well, there definitely should be a place for mystery, but uh, I think uh, scientific thinking and uh, thinking through evidence is the only proper way to go in all the areas of life. If I may quote uh, Carl Sagan, he, he said once that uh, imagination will often take us to places that never were, but without imagination we go absolutely nowhere. And that pretty much sums it up. Uh, but science is the way to go, you say? I really think so, yeah. Why Thinking you... based on evidence. Mm, in the... Why do you, do you feel that? Well, um, I, think, I, I think it's common sense and uh, the origin of morality. I mean, th there's a reason why we have a, a justice system in the developed countries in the world. I mean, if you bring a murder suspect and uh, we rely on faith, I have absolutely no evidence that you killed the person, but uh, I have faith that you did. Let's put you into the electric chair. It's not how the world works. You need to base your conclusions into evidence. Okay. And is this the view you have, you have had all your life? Yeah, pretty much so, yeah. I've, I've been a science freak since I was a kid. My favorite subject at school was uh, biology. I used to belong to this um, bird watching club and astronomy club, hiking club in my high school. And uh, I was very fascinated about the natural world. Even went to a university to study biology for, for about half a year before Nightwish kicked off. Okay, um, at home was it the same? The, your parents are, um, believe in the scientific explanation as well, or was it also? The... Well, my parents have always said that uh, search for yourself, find your own truth. And that's the way I think kids all over the world should be edu educated. Um, uh, in the last years, you've read books of the Dawkins and Hitchens, and I forgot the other name, but <laughs> um, and you d you said you have said that the thought plays in those books. Um, you were fascinated by it. Yeah. Um, what what do you mean with thought plays, scientific play? Scientific play thought. What? I'm sorry, I didn't hear yeah, the you. The scientific there. thought plays. In those books, they, they fascinated you? Oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm still fascinated about stories and fantasy as well, but there's something about the uh, magic of reality, the poetry of science, because it's true. If you, if you truly understand uh, the fact, some people still call, call it the theory of evolution by natural selection, to me it's the most spiritual and poetic thing there is that every single living organism comes from the same ancestor and we're all cousins. And some people get really scared about the thought. They think it's uh, diminishing to the human species. And I just experience it in a whole different way. It's the most humiliating, and I mean, not humiliating, but it humbling experience. And uh, I think it's very poetic. Indeed, and that's, that was uh, one of the biggest inspirations when it came to writing music for this album. And you've never had that, that fear that other people may have? You've never experienced that? Not, you say not really, no. I just feel re really, really happy and privileged to be alive. Because uh, the odds that we are here, that you are here, they're just astronomically small. So we should really make the best out of the few decades that we have in the sun. Um, the album title is based on... Uh, what the, let's see. T Darwin, Darwin quote, yes. I was yes. confusing it with Dawkins, so... This mm. <laughs> but, um, let's see. 
Uh, when did you come upon this quote um, in which the album title was from? Well, uh, I read The Origin of Species uh, in high school and haven't read it since. But uh, every now and then I go back to it and read snippets of it. And then I just found this beautiful paragraph which actually ends the whole book. From so simple a beginning, endless forms most beautiful have been and are being evolved. And just those four words, endless forms most beautiful, they sound so superbly beautiful when you say it out loud. And that's really what the album is about also. It's, it's all about the diversity of life, the beauty of the natural world. So a perfect fit. Uh, but when was it that you um, uh, got the book out of the, of the cupboard and just saw, hey, maybe this is stuff for an album? Oh, about a year and a half ago, maybe, when I started writing songs. Um, yeah, I would say summer 2013. But uh, we didn't decide the album title until last summer. So for a long time we uh, pondered whether it should be Elan or at some point it was the greatest show on earth. Uh, that sounded a bit too pompous for an album title. And uh, then we just realized that, hold on, there's a song on the album called Endless Form's Most Beautiful. That would actually make a perfect album title as well. And what about, well, um, this specific quote speaks to you? Oh, um, about the unity of everything, about uh, us all being one. But does it trigger a feeling? Oh, yes. Like what? Humbleness, uh, uh, gratitude, uh, love. And you've, um, in, a, in a news press release, I've read that um, you've said that over the past five, six years, you've changed as a person, also partially because you've read those books. Well, you change constantly. Oh, yes. Of yeah. But with a experience in life, with a, what you experience, what you read, the people you meet, it's just a natural process that happens day by day. Yes, but um, how did those book, books influence you? They influenced me in, a, like I said, truly understand the core of evolution. And that was a spiritual experience for me. And it was so inspiring that I wanted to write the whole album about it. What was the first song then that you wrote for the new album? Uh, that would be track number eight, Idi Maru. What does Idi Maru mean? <laughs> it's taken from a series of fantasy books from Patrick Rothfuss. So far he has uh, published two called Name of the Wind and the Wise Man's Fear. And this Idi Maru is a group of traveling musicians and uh, actors, magicians that go from town to town to perform to people and earn their living like that. It's kind of like what gypsies did in the medieval times, etc. I just found the idea fascinating because in a way us as a band are a contemporary Idi Maru. Yes, so so basically sing. it's a song about us. <laughs> you also <laughs> sing We Are the Idi Maru. Yeah. So. yeah. Um, the single, Elan, is that the right pronunciation? Elan, yeah. Elan. Also based on a quote of Whitman, Walt Whitman? Not really based, but inspired by. Inspired by. Yeah, I, I have my Song of Myself book with me almost all the time. Mm -hmm. and I happened to browse through it one day and just inspired to writing a song. Yeah. Why do you carry the book around you all the time? It's inspiring and it's comforting. Comforting um, why? Oh, it's, I, it's a personal thing. I mean, it's really hard to start to explain that, but uh, if you haven't read it, give it a try. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you, well, you called him my uncle Hero Wolf, this author, I mean. Uh, I guess <laughs> <laughs> that comes from the movie Dead Poets Society, where Robin Williams is often referring to Walt Whitman as Uncle Walt. Ah. So that's where it, where it comes from. I've seen the film dozens of times and just stuck to me as well. Okay. Um, well, 
the underlying theme of that specific song um, is the meaning of all life, basically? Yeah, that's one way of putting it. it. It's all about what to do with your own life and not to be afraid and daring to take the occasional free fall or the path less traveled by, as Uncle Walt put it. And what is a, um, uh, a free fall or the path less traveled, traveled by? Mm -hmm. um, what do you mean exactly with that? Don't surrender to trends, don't surrender to what people expect you to do or what's a norm in society. I mean, rules are good, but uh, maybe you should try to be adventurous and courageous every now and then and find your own meaning of life. I, I've always found the question, so what is the meaning of life? Science cannot explain that. I mean, it's something different for everybody. It can be, it should be. And what is it for you? To live to the fullest, uh, to experience everything life has, has to offer and uh, just to try to leave the planet a bit of a better place than how I found it. And um, in what way do you try to um, leave the, this planet a better place for you? Mm. Doing albums like Endless Force Most Beautiful to maybe raise, raise awareness and consciousness to these issues to make hopefully people think for themselves. Okay. Hopefully um, to give them similar kind of uh, uh, epiphanies which I had when I read Walt Whitman or uh, Richard Dawkins or Carl Sagan, for example.